When hovering over a cell in Excel, you get a number of different cursor shapes. That's the big white cross that you get over the middle. That's for highlighting and selecting. So we could go like that and it would highlight those cells. If you go near to the borders, you get a four headed arrow. And that's for moving. Now the clever little bit is the bottom right hand corner. There's a rectangle there anyway, but when your cursor gets to it, you get a little cross. That little cross is the fill handle and it does some clever things. With plain text, as we have here with Mavis, I can grab that fill handle, drag down, and it effectively replicates the text for as far as I drag. So I get Mavis, 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 etc. Now, if I do that with some text that contains a number at the end, so we have zone one here, for example, I can go to the bottom right hand corner again, got the fill handle and drag, and you'll see what it does is it sees the pattern and replicates. So zone one then becomes zone two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, etc. Now it doesn't have to start at one, it could start anywhere. I could have started at zone 65. Go for the fill handle and drag. So it always increments by one, that's its little series. So as a piece of text with a numerical value will be incremented. So I have here 23, go for the fill handle and it will simply replicate. So it doesn't fill any kind of pattern in here. It says 23 and we'll copy and paste it lots of times. Unless, notice a little menu has popped out here. If we click on the menu, there is an option to fill the series. And that way it does the series, it adds one on. If you need it to increment by say two or one and a half or seven, then we can tell it to do that by effectively giving it two numbers. So if I were to put 45 and 50, highlight both cells, that's a big white cross, then let go of the mouse, then go for the bottom right hand corner in the fill handle and drag. You'll see that the series becomes five because the gap between those two was five. So then the series gap is five. So it carries on incrementing by five at each step of the fill handle. Now dates, so we select the cell, bottom right hand corner, fill handle, grab the fill handle and drag down. Adds on a day each time. So we go all the way to the end of October and we start in November. Now, if the series thing is not what you want, then you can go into the little pop out and choose copy cells. And then they're all the same. Now it's worth knowing what the fill handle will do by default. So sometimes you do want to copy the date, not have it increment as it's done there. Sometimes you want it to copy the number or you want it to replicate the number or you don't want it to replicate by one. So you use two cells to give it the gap. Now everything we've done there has been done vertically. You can do exactly the same thing horizontally. So we could take our John, drag across, and it repeats John, 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 John. Take our area 51, drag across, and becomes 52, 53, 54, etc. We could take our date, 10, 9, 2013, drag across. Now it has incremented each of the days, because you can see if you hover 10, 10, 10, 11, just the columns aren't wide enough because of the number value. And we could take 97, drag across, and it doesn't do anything to it, just copies until you use the little pop out to fill the series. And again, horizontally, we can do the two gap. So we could go 67 and 60. So we've now got two cells with a gap of effectively minus seven. I can then drag that across horizontally and we'll get seven taken off each time. So we get right down to 11 in our case. So we can go vertically with the fill handle or horizontally with the fill handle. Taking that cleverness a little step further, we can do areas. So we have here a little sample file. We've got two rows of information, apple, pear, banana, and kiwi. And we've given the values for Jimmy and Sally's sales. Now, if I highlight all eight of those cells and then drag downwards, what effectively you'll see that it does is it treats each pairing within that eight as separate to the rest. So it says 23 to 21, you went down by two, let's keep going down by two. 45 to 44, you went down by one, let's carry on going down by one. 24 to 26, you went up by two, so carry on going up by two. 14 to 14, there was no difference, so we'll carry on and we'll just replicate the 14. So although I took the eight cells, it treated them because I dragged vertically as pairs. 23 and 21 were a pair, 45 and 44 were a pair, 24 and 26 were a pair, 14 and 14 were a pair. So you can fill areas of numbers quite quickly as long as there's a given pattern Excel can see and replicate. 
And the last little bit for this fill handle is how it deals with months and days. In A1 here, I have January typed in. If I go for the fill handle and drag down, you'll see it knows the rest of the year by month. So January, February, March, April, all the way through to December. When I get to December, it then starts again. January, February, and we'll go on. So I could start with September, drag to the right, and it says October, November, December. Now it will work with Jan. So it will work with a three letter abbreviation that I can drag vertically or horizontally. So these patterns are built into the system already. January to December, Jan to deck, and the days of the week, Friday. So I could drag Friday, and it goes Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, etc. Starts again. That works horizontally as well. So Friday will go across and effectively loops round. And that also has abbreviations. WED goes across. We can go down. So we can use full months, three letter abbreviated months, full days of the week, three letter abbreviated days of the week. With the fill handle, it will carry on repeating the pattern. With days of the week in the little fill options pop out, you can actually choose to fill weekdays only. If I click there, it misses out Saturday and Sunday. Now it can't miss the first one out because I started with that, but it's missed out the Sunday after it, then gone through to Friday, missed out Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So that's the fill handle used for copying text, replicating text, repeating patterns. And then here at the end, you've seen it cleverly do the days of the week and the months of the year.